segment on Real World Gardener. On the line, I've got Mercedes Sarmini, who's the top florist of, that I know, and probably all around New South Wales at the very least. How are you today, Mercedes? Oh, my God. Your introductions are always off the hook. I'm blooming well today, Marianne. Excellent. <laughs> and I've got to say, I'm, I'm loving the topic that we're going to be talking about, and that is what to cut flowers to give to someone you don't like. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, you know, in this coronavirus uh, time that we're all in, a bit of humour can go a very far can go very far. So I, I came up with this title uh, just recently, actually, and um, it fits the bill because I went back into my memory bank and plucked out a lot of blooming cut flowers that I'd love to share with the listeners today. Now, let me just say my idea of cut flowers to give someone I don't like would be ones without any heads on them, just the stalks <laughs> or, or some just some roadside weeds, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a very good start, Marianne, uh, uh, d- definitely. But um, we've, all, we've all had the uh, mother-in-law from hell, I'm just trying to paint a picture here, and the boss that you wished left and gone forever to another planet, uh, we've all been there. And, and, and come on, let, let, let's be transparent. And, you know, we've always heard the term, kill them with kindness and and it starts you know in this case with cut flowers so the list that I've come up with and I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about each cut flower uh, why I've chosen it um, and and let's start with the most prominent um misty do you know what that is no no I don't know um, look, it's, it's, we use it as a filler in bouquet. So instead of using solidaster or baby's breath, you can also use misty. And, and, and misty predominantly comes in the colour lilac or, or, or like a dark purple. Now, it dries beautifully, absolutely beautifully. But in the process of drying, it smells like cat piss. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> male cat, let, let's use the term urine. But you know what uh, male cat urine smells like? You can't get rid of it. I mean, I used to have a cat that, you know, the dirty on me, and it took me a long time to get rid of the smell. But, yeah, cat urine, male mm. in particular, is what Misty smells like as it starts the ageing process. So that, that's one cut flower. Um, stargazers from the Lilium family, um, stargazers as they start ageing, so as it opens up very much like my palm, if you could see the screen, but as it starts to then go backwards even more as it's opening, that's a sign of ageing. And as it starts to curl back at the petals, going back, trying to do a backflip, that's where the not so well on the nose smell starts to re- rear its ugly head. And again, it smells like cat urine. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not sounding good at all. No. Just so if to you the want to give someone you don't like, it starts off pretty. And then it ends not so well. Just going back to that misty thing, I was ju- I was just uh, having a look to see what it was, but there's no, there's so many cut flowers that could be that. I'm thinking maybe limonium, which is kind of uh, like a purple flower, uh, but it dries. It can dry papery, and it's not got it's not got a very big flower. Could that be it? Limonium, maybe. Well, it doesn't- papery because that sounds to me a little bit like status yes because that dries papery. uh no misty doesn't um but uh it, it dries perfectly um and and you know the odor um can stay around for a very long time another cut flower to steer away from if if you want to gift someone that you like um but indeed someone that you don't like is miss gardenia is another one um, it's not so bad on the nose because we all know what she smells like, but she doesn't last for too long. 
So within three days, you know, she's yellow and she's off on her way to the cemetery, you know. So that's <laughs> that's another cut flower. You know, it starts off gorgeous and it dies when it comes to your visual uh, sensibility, I suppose. Uh, another um, cut flower that um, starts off really nice and within a day, maximum two, oh, my God, I mean, does it, it's just lost its petals, is echinacea. Um, so, you know, and, and it's also prickly. So if, if someone that you don't like wants to get really, really close, and, and most people who are not trained think that all cut flowers have a fragrance. So, you know, the person that you don't like will definitely get close to it and graze their tip of, the ne- of their nose. So <laughs> that's a good one. I think that's so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, uh, a few more others. Um, sea holly is another one. Um, oh. very long lasting. Um, and it's kind on the nose, kind on the eyes, but not so kind when you want to touch it. So if you want to get under somebody's skin, this is another cut flower to think about because, um, you know, we're, we're really taking care of all the six senses here, you know, from your nose to your eyes to, you know, feeling it. Um, so, you know, th- there are so many things to consider. And finally, this is a real uh, tricky one. I love it because you can recycle it. Uh, kale. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's ornamental kale, not the one that you can eat. Um, as florists, you know, we, we use them in our uh, bouquets predominantly and you can also use them in your arrangements. Um, but if you're using it in um, a vase, most of us are going to fill up the vase with a lot of water. Now, with kale predominantly, the reason why it's on the nose is because too much water in the vase is going to weaken the stem, soften the stem, and then it's going to be really, really not so desirable on the nose. Kale, if you want to enjoy it, needs to be enjoyed in shallow water. So, um, you know, gifting it to someone that you don't like, predominantly whether you like them or you don't like them, they are going to run straight to the tap, recut the stems because that's the right thing to do and put a, put a lot of water in the vase. And, you know, on the third day, come the fourth, it's just not easy on the nose. Wow. That's a great list you've given us to think about, Mercedes. Wow. Certainly the kale, I would never have thought. But, yes, you're right. Sitting in water, it would go all mushy and slimy and very, yeah, yeah not very uh, nice to smell. Well, there we have it. That's a list of uh, cut flowers to give someone you don't like. Once again, it's been <laughs> absolutely fabulous chatting with you, Mercedes, and look forward to the next time. Absolutely. And just a shout out, follow us on Instagram, Floral Gossip Official, and uh, our blogs uh, monthly, three of them a month, on Floral Gossip on Facebook. Lovely. Thanks again, Mercedes. Bye.